Here's Chico. <laughs> Chico's Archie's Chop Shop. Go find him on Facebook. He does he does like online auctions and stuff. He's got a lot of stuff out here. I mean, this is what like maybe a tenth of your stuff, not even. Yeah. <laughs> How are you, man? Pretty you doing good? good? You? Yeah. Doing well, man. Oh, look at this. Look at that beauty. It's got like a ghost. It's like a, a ghost flame to it. Maybe it's my sunglasses, but it looks like you can barely see the flame, but it's there. And it's a 6S. 6S? Good God. I can barely keep it on the ground on 3S. Yeah. <laughs> but he's got a whole bunch of stuff. Pretty much anything. You can literally go on there and be like, hey, I need this. And he probably has it and he'll put it up for auction. Really cool. Really cool. Thing. I used to just watch it just for fun because it was just fun to watch. I wasn't even trying to buy anything. But you should check it out. Uh, Chico's RC Chop Shop. Facebook. So, because since I did that, he's going to give me a 50% discount now, which is really nice. <laughs> what the heck is this thing? That's a tube bender. A tube bender? Oh, dang, really? That's pretty hardcore. Whoa, look at this thing. I got to see this. Check out this servo, guys. Shift RC. It's like a fist scale servo. It's massive. Oh my God, look at the torque. 1,876 ounces. That is insane. Insane. All right, he's got, a, he's got a lot of stuff. Yeah, go check it out. If you ever go on there, you can literally just ask him for what you want, and he usually has it. So, oh, we got an ET410. We got some old Technos over here. Techno monster truck. Oh, I know this guy. Come on, man. How you been? Good, good. You still going out to uh, Juan's place out there, or is he still doing it? Uh, he hadn't done it in a while that I've seen. I think he's gotten into some other stuff. Okay. Too. That was a cool track, man. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Check these out. Fast attack cycle. Collectible. Super collectible. Anything with G.I. Joe, I assume, is collectible. My God, that, that thing's sick, too. Super I was cool. I'm to take it out of the box so it could be seen. But. That's really cool. Those I'll sell really cheap. This a little bit more, but not expensive. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. It's good seeing you, man. Good to see you too, man. How are you, sir? Good. Doing good. well? Yeah. Oh, man, look at the Atlas 6x6. That's freaking awesome. I used to want one of these really bad. I still kind of want one. Does it have two-speed? No. That's the only thing. I like the two-speed on the new... Yeah, uh, they are pretty slow. Yeah. But with the bigger tires, the torque works better that way. Yeah. And the only thing I had to do for the bigger tires was to loosen this carriage and just slide it back a hole. Oh, nice. Clearance. It's almost like they did that by design, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you just never know. Oh, look, at HPI racing bag. I don't think I've ever seen that. I bet you some of the Hot Bodies guys would love it. That'll fit an eight, big 8 stale or a couple 10 scale cars in it. Dude, that's freaking awesome. Look at this. The things you find at the swap meet. That's this what, This looks like a lot of fun. That's what you need. To run it back and forth from your trailer to the pits. It, it looks uh, looks super looks super fast. Eleven miles an hour. That's that's pretty fast. All right. What do you want for this thing? Twenty five hundred. Twenty five hundred. It's sixty five hundred. So I figure they retail probably for a lot. It looks nice. Oh, but it is a golf. It's a golf yeah, thing. Yeah, but think you could build a rack on the front. I could. You could hold cars. You could hold. I I use it to go disc golfing. I hang my disc golf bag on the front. That is super, cool. dude. Going to one of those walk-on courses with this thing? Yeah. That'd be money. It, 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 I weigh 300 pounds, and it hauls me up hills. Really? Yeah, without any problem. <laughs> Super cool, man. Awesome. Oh, man, look at this. How's, oh, what's up, dude? We got to do some speed run soon. I got some speed run cards ready to go. We're going to try to go today. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm, I'm supposed to be at Indy right now, actually. Broke, uh, broke 109 on my infraction. That's what started the infraction. Wait, what is this, a 4S? Uh, no, that's the stock infraction ESC. What is it? You just want 40 bucks for it? Yeah. Man, let me see what else you got before I start pulling trigger on stuff. <laughs> Good to see you again. I, yeah. Hey, what's up, man? Oh. I, was just, I was just telling Dave we need to do some speed run soon because I got uh, some speed run uh, cars ready to go. I got, a, I got a car that I haven't announced yet. I'm not going to announce it right now, but more speed run stuff coming. But yeah, man. Uh, actually, is this yours too? Yeah. This is all mine. Kind of, yeah. You don't want anything on this side. Oh. Okay, so nothing. So don't look at anything. <laughs> That's good, man. You said this side. That's really good. 
What is, oh, these are the accessory stuff. Yeah, when well, I did a, uh, I did a solid black X-Max, I decided not to. I bought those and I was like, crap. <laughs> Dude, these things, the little, if you want to do it all, like one color, you're so deep in the accessories. <laughs> like, I, I don't ever get this stuff, but these are the cool little details. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta get this. Heck yeah, dude! Representing. Awesome. Oh, here's so here's some Hyrax class class one. What you didn't like them? They're too small. Uh, yeah, they were way too small in his Bronco. Yeah, they're really cool to build like a really scale car with, but yeah, they're too small, especially if you're gonna take it on a trail. That's another thing we're gonna be doing soon is a trail run. Um, man, I can't see anything else I want though. But I don't like to buy. I don't like to buy singles. I like to buy things in bulk. They're out of stock. Really? Yep. Out of stock. Yep. Oh, here's the, here's the motor. That's the stock motor out of my infraction. Does it have a lot of runtime on it? No. No. Probably three packs through it, and then the ESC blew up, and then the can of worms opened. <laughs> <laughs> you got the hobby wing in there now, right? Yeah. These are the guys that did speed runs. Whenever I broke 100 miles an hour, Dave was there. He hit the blue. He hit the blue reflector in the road. That, he was that guy. <laughs> Will you run both these for sixty? Yeah, I can do that. Sweet man. There's the reason why I'm getting them. Oh, it's you already know. You probably saw it. My Ven, my Vendetta. Oh, so okay. I'm gonna put this ESC in the okay. Vendetta, and then uh, actually I'm giving secrets away. Y'all like and subscribe and go go check out my channel. <laughs> I don't I don't want to give all my secrets away before before I announce them. There you go, bud. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Yeah, if you want to get together today. This this comes with it, right? Yeah. Perfect. Um, yeah. So I'm supposed to be. I'm actually at racing the icebreaker right now, and uh, I'm. Ethan's actually there. My youngest is actually there already because his main is going on right now. My main's probably going to start in like two hours. So. That last time we went out there, it hit the infraction hit 109. Uh, 109. And nice. it, all that dirt was at the end, so I was getting out of it. Uh -huh. it I can probably. Staying it in it for at least another second, maybe two. So. Did you start at the very beginning of the the road trail, yeah. or the the road? Yeah, and I just didn't have Are we gonna need a bigger road? Yes, and I think I found. Did I, did I text you, a you haven't texted me a picture of the new road. I, oh, All right, yeah. let me know. So, yeah. I'll be hitting you up really soon. Okay. So I have icebreaker right now, and then next weekend I'm at P and B. But when I get back, I should have some time. I'm gonna start doing a lot of speed I'll do stuff. Setup was up. I'm probably gonna do the castle setup. I heard. <laughs> speed's, speed's addicting. I did, it, I did it 103 with it. Nice. Re oh, really? We yeah, fixed it. yeah I, saw, I saw you guys yeah. sent me a picture. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> guys, Bigfoot. These are, uh, I think, I think they're eventually going to go up in value. Right now, they're still mass producing them. But as soon as Traxxas stops making them, anything licensed is going to go really big. This one's like, so this saying, one's brand new. So you're saying I should keep that one? I mean, I, <laughs> but I don't know when it's going to happen, right? It, it could be like 10 years from now. Yeah. But I think... And it's not that much. I mean, you're, you're, they'll probably go up 500 bucks, five, 600 bucks when they stop making them. But I have them sitting in the box still for that reason. I'll be back around. I, I can't believe how big this swap meet is. It's freaking huge. So, man, look at this guy. How are you, sir? I've been racing with this guy forever. He's all over the stand. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, because he was an on the tone fan. He watched on the tone with us. This is my pal. Don't go through here. Don't go. <laughs> why not? Why not go through here? No, this stuff you can. But this outside. <laughs> Look at this. This this is a. Uh, we did not make very many of these. The on the tone stand. Super freaking nice. I still have mine. I won't ever get rid of mine. That's the only one I use. That's a. It's just a nice stand in general. So, but he's got a lot of stuff here. Actually, uh, Johnny, I bought the bead locks from. My uh, first set of Vanquish bead locks. He was the one who started the Vanquish bead lock addiction. Which sucks. Oh look, Grave Digger. That's a SMT10. You got a drag slash. You got some tires. Johnny's Johnny's good to buy from. He's a uh, very he's very motivated to sell. We got a summit down there, uh, an M41 boat. All right, moving on. Oh dang. We got a whole bunch of you just have to go through and like look at all like it's like like little piles like this guys you got to just go through and look through here because sometimes you'll find some hidden gems you definitely don't want to pass up but we gotta oh man this this guy i know this guy 
But every every time I get him on camera, he try to ask for commission. So we gotta limit his camera. Hey, I, I need you to sign this so I can mark it up. <laughs> you, you, I should. No, I'm joking. Heck yeah. yeah, man, that's awesome, dude. We were just talking about. He has the the shock stand over there. He has the on the tone parts tray. Whenever we sold those. But yeah, we had a super limited run, and VRP doesn't make those trays anymore. Like you can't buy the trays, period. So those are are, are done, gone. Um, sorry, we're just totally walking past a whole bunch of stuff. I think I've seen this. I've seen this Defender a few times. I love how this looks. The patina, the the look of it here. Come around this way, bud. Look at how he has the mud on the wheels. I don't know if he did that intentionally, but I just think it looks so freaking cool. I, I'm pretty sure I had this at another swap meet. <clears throat> Good looking truck. Oh yeah, here's another thing that you can score at a uh, RC swap meet. It says oils. They'll usually get rid of them cheap. Each one of those bottles, what people don't realize, each one of those bottles is usually between four and seven dollars. Sometimes they can be upwards around ten if you go in the Huddy stuff. Yeah, you get that, like that whole thing. Be a, it costs a lot of money to build that collection. Usually you can pick those up really cheap here. Here's a couple of really cool projects down here. A couple of cool Traxxas projects. Oh, sorry, am I in the shadow there? All right. Oh, look, I can, I can see it from the corner of my eye, that VR46. Um, we're gonna have to see what's going on with that. That's, that's licensed. Got a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, this, this is all, uh, that's uh, Rob's stuff. Man, Rob's hiding all the Tamiya stuff. So those are SCX 24s that I converted into monster trucks. Um, oh, that's I would cool. sell them, but I actually brought them more because I'm selling the chassis kits. Oh, okay. I've got chassis kits for 20 bucks. So you it comes with the chassis. Yeah, it comes with chassis and um, this guy. And uh, links. Cool. This thing's actually pretty sweet. Dude, that thing's a riot. They <laughs> <laughs> look. Did it come carbon fiber? You will literally back all your cars out into a hailstorm <laughs> just so you can run that around the garage. It's, it's cool. almost like you're telling me from experience. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh oh, it, it's it moving. It's just enough bite to be quick, uh -huh. but not enough bite so you can slide. It's kind of it's it's faster than a mini Z. Oh yeah, I bet that bet they are mini Z's. Look at this guy. Look at all the freaking aluminum on that thing. That had an ADA system. An ADA system in it? Good yeah. God. No wonder he put, he put the aluminum because he needed it, not for not for show. Look at the pinion gear that he, the pinion I saw that. It's like it's like a huge mod it's one. Damn near one to one. Look at that. That's insane. Uh oh, damn I want to get that. One to one. See, I knew it. I, I I saw this this car in the corner of my eye. I saw that Rob had it, and then I knew that he knew what he had. But that's actually a very fair price for this car. This car is discontinued. It's a licensed car. Um, VR46. It's a Valentino Rossi. Tracks this uh, Fiesta. Okay. Very, very, very nice. He's got a a boat there. Slash two-wheel drive, some bodies. That's another thing you can score out these things is bodies. Okay. We're moving on. We're going to drop this off of the truck. We only went through this side over here. Well, only this row. So we still got the outside row and then the back row. So let's, uh, let's put... Uh, usually I show what I bought at the end. I'll show you what I got now. I got this for the... Uh, for the Vendetta, because I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this for Vendetta to get 200 miles an hour. But this is a good system to just have around. But this was brand, this is brand new in box here. I mean, this is this is a good one. It's insane. 150 amp Spectrum. Thanks, man. Thanks for the support. We got those. By the way, those are on the website. We actually still have some of those in stock. All the big boy sizes are gone. It's because Brett bought them all. I'm just. I'm just you look like an XL. Big boy, where's the big shirt? You an XL? I think, yeah, I think I'm going to have to step up to the 2XL game, unfortunately. I'm getting there, guys. All right, we're moving on. This is the second row that we haven't been to yet. Oh, I know this guy. This guy's actually mega fast. He beats me all the time. How are you? Good, man. How are you doing? New good? I'm racing Icebreaker right now. You should be racing Icebreaker, too. Yeah, I should be, but... Oh, God, all this stuff. All his stuff is going to be super clean. I just started a new job, <clears> so... It's coming soon, I'll be able to... Okay, good. As long as it's never coming back, that would suck. Nah, oh. nah. Look at these. See? Someone needs a receiver out there. Those are going to be bought up for sure. Those are those are good receivers. Good seeing you, man. You too, man. I'll probably swing by up there later. Heck yeah, dude. Awesome. Oh, wait. We got Tamiya's, guys. The Tamiya's, they're, they're rolling them out right now. How are you, sir? Oh, look at, wait. We got to check out this vintage stuff. My God. 
Holy smokes, this is awesome. Oh man, Doug would love this. Is this an original? Yes. The original original? Yes. What do you want for it? Uh, my great grandson needs a battery charger and a battery. So you want to trade? Yeah. I have a buddy that is really into it. I'm going to send him a picture of it, see if he wants to pick it up. Okay. Those are nice. I will, I will be back around. Very nice car, sir. Holy smokes, wait. Oh, that one? I I saw that. Look at this trailer thing. That's freaking. Oh, dang it. I came over for it to me as he, he beat me to it. You and I talked a few times. I'm Robert Rhodes, buddy. Oh. Oh, yeah. How's it going, man? I heard you were super swamped, dude. I still haven't done one yet, the, uh, the, the, the conversion. So I, I literally just got the deal done with Reef, uh -huh. and so our version 2 is going to have a Reef servo winch on it. Oh, sweet. And uh, it's all complete. Right now I'm just changing up a few things like uh, adding uh, shock tower deletes, um, uh -huh. so that the robot to go all the way back. Of course, it's got the Reef servo winch on there. We've just gone through and changed the kit a lot. A lot of it, dude, is just production. Yeah. I still work all right. the time. Yeah, I, I totally get it. It's just, it's, it's just this is a 110 rod shop. He makes the, the, the slide down thing for the rollbacks. The rollback yep. for the Traxxas hauler. I've been meaning to do one. I haven't done one yet. So hopefully, hopefully one day we'll do one soon. But yeah, we'll ho we're, we're hoping to have them here in the next uh, couple of months. Did you get this? Did you get this massive freaking trailer? Yeah, man. <laughs> semi. <laughs> oh my God, it's the entire semi. And then look, he, like right here, he's got a speaker box in back. Oh my guys got our, uh, this one's got pretty much everything that we make it's got a working screen working audio system on it jeez the amp underneath the seat right here yeah that's, that's freaking awesome so it's got a working screen audio an, an amp look at, <laughs> that one's insane you mind if i take take a look at it and show it off yeah, it's got look at this guys on it. it's all freaking aluminum this is amazing. Look at the wheels. Yeah, those are actually forged wheels. They're forged wheels? They're actually forged wheels. Send just released those. They sent we're brain ambassadors for Sam. And so we travel all over representing them. Yeah, uh CCXRC Tony. Tony CC yeah. does a lot of that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Actually we filmed a video with uh, whenever they released the two fifties. Uh -huh. um, me and him and Howard from uh, the VP from San, we all went down to Dallas and, and Tony and I shot that video. Together. Oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah that's cool, that's man. Really Tony's a cool guy. Yeah, he's a really good guy. We run into him every year. At CCXRC, guys. <laughs> well, awesome, man. Hey, it's nice to finally meet you, bud. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. I'll get in contact. Yeah, for sure, man. All right. There's a, there's a lot of stuff here, but there's a lot of people here also, so we're going to move on and come back. Oh, that green caddy is pretty sick. How are you, sir? You doing well? Good. Good. Hey, how was uh, the Beaumont race? Uh, Beaumont. Out in California. Oh yeah. When, when you say Beaumont, I'm thinking Texas. I'm no, like, I was not a, Texas. Oh, it was all. It was awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Oh yeah, I loved yeah. it. It was fun. Awesome. T T and R race. Yeah. How it was, did you do last night? Did you um, win? no. I ran. I ran pro. <laughs> I ran pro. Every once in a while, I like to, to take a beat down, so I ran pro. Cool. And uh, yeah, I I didn't do well. I didn't even run my last qualifier because I ran too late and I wanted uh -huh. to come here. Yeah. So, but yeah, man, it's good seeing you, bud. Good seeing they, they got a bunch of stuff back there, but we're not going to go back there because uh, it's kind of tight. Um, another another infraction. Oh, man, there's a whole bunch. How are you? Oh, what's up, dude? You doing good? Yeah. You going to come back out racing with us soon? Uh, hey, dude. I'm I don't... Doing, uh, Fisco racing. <laughs> there you go. That's what I'm into right now. Fisco racing? Man, that's, uh, that's, that's some pricey racing. Yes, it is. <laughs> but it's a blast. This one's brand new. Yes, it is. What do you want for it? Four hundred. Custom upgrades. So added the aluminum brace on the back. Aluminum upper plate. Oh yeah, that's all. Upper plate here. All hot racing stuff, right there. Dang, that's a good deal, dude. Yep. But it's brand. You, wait, you, you've ran it before. I ran it four times. Four times. That's uh, how much tire. You know? That's how much tire worn down in four times. Yeah. <laughs> dude, I heard they burn tires they up like crazy. Fast. <clears throat> that's super clean. Very, very nice. That's a good deal, man. Dang it. There's a reason why I can't buy it, and I haven't told the channel yet, so I can't say it. Um, look at this. This is like the world's most expensive starter box here. 
It's called a hoodie starter box. Everything hoodie is like times three normal cost. It's good stuff though, good quality stuff. That's super cool. It's 10 scale. And comes with the hypo. Do what? And comes with a hypo box. <laughs> oh really? Can't beat that. <clears throat> oh, there you go. You can't beat the ProTech Lipo box. No, you cannot beat the ProTech Lipo. This is probably for like a 10 scale. 10 scale nitro probably, huh? Oh, seriously? Yeah. Dang, that's insane. Hey, look, we know that body. That's a he might have got that body for me, actually. Oh no, that's team that's TSR. That's the stuff we bought from the storage. <laughs> Awesome, man. Hey, it's good seeing you, bud. Thanks, man. All right.